Hey, what's going on, guys? Alrighty. Um, from the other videos that you've seen, uh, this is the chair that I use uh, mainly when I go shooting. Um, I use that with my shooting stick. However, last weekend, after hunting, the hot seat that I used for turkey hunting has found to be getting a little uncomfortable. So with this chair, as you can see in, from the previous videos, the frame was the same color as this tan strapping that goes along the armrest to the seat and the backrest. So what I went ahead and did, and I'll flip this over for you, and see if you can see the colors here. I did some self camo painting on the, the frame. Now in some spots, like right here, you can see the original tan color um, finish of the metal. I left some spots unpainted just to kind of break it up a little more. Um, and since it's a natural earth tone, it kind of tends to work out. Um, however, I even got the pieces here. But however, I think I am going to go ahead and just break up the, the tan trim on the arms and do a little bit to the back here only because when I'm sitting in the chair I'm going to be hunting my camo's going to be covering you know most of the stuff anyway but I don't want anything that's going to give kind of a defined angle or defined line um, any deer that's going to see it's pregnant you know I'm not going to really be too sure what it is but it's you know going to alarm them a little bit and if you're interested to know how I did it um, natural sea sponges and the three paints I chose for the color um, they're just a standard uh, acrylic um, but the one paint uh, for whatever reason it's not showing the color of it um, but that's right there it's like a mossy light kind of green and then the next color that I used for the base coat um, it's called a black green which is right there and almost does look black and then I used a Hauser green, uh, which is more, it almost looks like a evergreen kind of color to it. Um, and then to add some depth, I just dabbed the, uh, a dry sponge a little bit into the moss green, into the Hauser green, and it came up like that. And then just apply it, apply it to the chair. Um, another thing you're going to want to do too, and especially if you're hunting, and you'll see this little tag here they hold in my hand was attached to the chair back here now if there's any little breeze this is going to get picked up in the wind it's white could simulate a, a deer that's flagging and if you got some jackass that's in the woods you're getting shot at so I went ahead and clipped it off so I just figured I'd do a quick video for you guys I uh, hope it gives you guys some ideas instead of going out and spending 40 bucks on a mossy oak chair that's the same color and has a little bit of camo up here in the back you can go ahead and do one for your own and save some money.